Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Europa Universalis 4 from Paradox Development Studio. It's week 38 in the Gaming Decathlon competition. Been at this game for quite a while now. Now we are approaching the final century. We have 105 years left to play. Right now, we have just entered the age of revolutions, and I would absolutely love to get a golden era started. But I need to have three things fulfilled. And right now, I think the easiest way to get there is probably going to be, because I have two already, it's probably going to be having a large capital. I'm short a lot though. I need 50 development. I have good gold production. I think this is my only gold province. This is why my inflation is pretty high. So I think this is going to be my best bet. Keeping Kilwa as the capital, but working on developing it. So we're going to jump into development. You can see it is far cheaper than any other province at this point. So we're going to start with some military points, and we'll put a few into that. We're going to put a few into admin, and we're going to Ooh. okay. Yemen started a war against Hormuz. Uh, except point one two. That's a tiny chance. So uh, we'll take that chance. Point one seven. All right. That already just more than doubled. But we've got a long ways to go to get to 50. Let's see what the effect is on that province here first. Oh, wow. Three ducats a month more than what it was. Well, I should have done that ages ago. Oops. Hey, we're supposed to reach... Yeah, during war, go to a friendly port. They failed to do that. Uh, now, I have no way to get troops over there unless I do it this way. I'm not sending all my forces over, but I don't mind sending a little bit. I have 1,500 ducats now, so that's starting to accumulate quick. I'm making 43 a month, so I've really, really boosted the economy in this last episode. Uh, once I finally was given a little bit of freedom, uh, and our first upgrade is we need a fortress, and it's going right here at our home base in Kilwa, which still only had the uh, the natural castle uh, my manpower max has gone up quite a bit actually that's a lot more than what it was wonder if that has anything to do with, well, we added four provinces. Could be the increases here in Kilwa. Ooh, we want to go up, not down.
Okay, it's at 24. We're essentially halfway there now. And there goes a couple more inflation. Another huge boost. Okay, Malika wants us as an ally. They've asked me many times in the past. I don't know. I might go for it, but it depends. Do I have room for another ally? Oops, if I go to the right area, huh? Oh, I'm at five of seven. And this is keeping everybody from attacking me. It's just been a huge help. Uh, let's do it. Play the game differently than I was early on. Uh, it's more about survival against the Ottomans, uh, the British, Portuguese, and the Spanish than anything else at the moment. Alright, we'll go right here. Wait until they have to go. Well, I was wanting to wait until they have to go. There they go. I can get you out of here finally, huh? Yes, I can. We're gonna get you out of there. And maybe we'll just head right over this way. Okay, that was only a thousand. Wow, they're they're coming back for us, huh? Coastal desert. Finally, I have an advantage in morale. Anyway, uh, they've got a slight advantage on discipline and tactics. Not gonna be a win, obviously, but it. I mean, by win, I mean it's not gonna be a obvious win. That's a tight, tight battle. And with the army drill being maxed out, that certainly helped. And the other six thousand are going to attack. Strangely. Really? Naval thought suffering. Thanks. Easy stack wipe and movement speed. Excellent. Now, before I hand over Dofar, because I could certainly core that, but what's your. Take so far. <laughs> yeah, I guess I better hand that one over, huh? No wonder they were fighting for it. If I can, let's see here. Let's start setting some provinces, huh?
Okay. That should be good enough. I need to get over there and start sieging that down. This area could be all theirs. Gosh, I actually have a chance to expand for the first time in ages. War score is already 34% though, so if I'm not careful, they will uh, very quickly end this war before I get a chance to even claim a province or two and gain anything. Bring our 3,000 troops and let's head over here. Should have done that a long time ago. Ooh, they're trying to sweep around the backside. That's okay. I'm not worried about that. What I am worried about is sieging the capital and then. Also, over to here. Which actually, let's see. You're a siege two. You're a siege zero. Well, that's no good. You're gonna keep right on going. You're gonna go siege down the capital. Ooh, nice, 28% right off the bat. Oh, no wonder. Uh, it's my problem with my capital. But I'm currently trying to fix that. Fortress, 400 days till it's built. I'm going to split you in half. Get this job done a little bit faster. It's the only province I don't have eyes on over here. And this section, I will siege down for myself. Okay, they're on the capital. They're at minus 64%. That's going to take them a while. And that might just buy me... Ooh. Wow, that's the capital already. Okay, go get that one. I'm going to go get this one. And you're going to get... Nothing. <laughs> I guess go rejoin them. Actually, no, you're not. You're going to take the fleet. Let's go get that siege down, huh? Just Hormuz, yes. Okay, they're still at just fifty seven, minus fifty seven. And they didn't gain anything that time. Right off the bat, 14%, that's beautiful. And get this army reunited.
Alright, we're gonna head over here. And Coptics, 20%. Yeah, they're rebel. That's not a problem. It's like the last province for a while, except for one there at the bottom. 35% walls breached already. This should go pretty quickly. It's just a level 2 fort. No wonder it's going so quick and easy. 57% now. This should just about end the war unless they're really looking for 100%. Once I have this siege down, I should be able to get some land out of this war. There, 93%. Lovely. And we've been warned not to go to war with any countries. Boy, Ottomans. You know, I think uh, with the help of, like, everyone, I think I could actually beat the Ottomans right now. With all my allies, anyway. There we go. Okay, the war is done. What is the results? Uh, Hormuz will cede Hormuz, Mogastan, and Jask to Kilwa. So we just picked up three provinces right here. Nice. Great spot, too, for those. Uh, it splits our country all up into pieces and Khorasan. I'll have to check on Khorasan to see what they're like, but uh, there's a new direction we could potentially go. And meanwhile, they picked up their couple provinces themselves. This all just became Oman. And we pick up 40 favors, doing most of the work ourselves. All right, I will probably keep one of these armies over here for the time being. Uh, probably this one. So you're going to go sit there. We're going to core these. Wow, that was expensive. But we could just barely afford all three at once. Nice. And... There. Oh, can't do that that way, can I? Uh, let's drop three units. really isn't that bad on those so we'll keep those active <laughs> 300 treasury there we got a big boost yeah let's go get those other 3,000 real quick Upgrade here in Kilwa will make a pretty good sum of money. Let's get these ones that are. There. 
We'll stop there. That'll add a bit more money as well. So, economy is starting to boom. I can afford better members of the court now. But I need kind of the right one. That's the one I want to go plus three on first. Uh, morale of armies, though, could always use an upgrade. There's discipline and a plus three. While that's useful, though, that's not going to come with any money. And I need to keep increasing that as well, otherwise we just kind of take away our lofty income, which actually at the moment is only 28. All right, Fortress is done, so there's a big boost. Okay, cost is 60. Let's add one. It's nine now. That is awesome. That is a lot of money coming in in gold. And that's 30. I'm getting close. Err. <laughs> close. Err. 50 is still 20 development away. That's, that's uh, not cheap. All right, uh, let's get our diplomats on some sort of task here. Meanwhile, that's, that's a pretty big jump there, too. Ottomans, what are you up to? Oh, Mercuria going away. Saw that one coming. Let's make sure I'm actually still friends with all my allies. Let's start with that one. Everybody's over 100. So yes, royal marriages throughout. Uh, tech, everybody could level up now, so I need to stop for a little bit. Growing here. Uh, we're not too far off on that splendor. Getting to use one perk. It's time to start training again. You put back together and let's get you up here in Shua. Now you are a level six star fort, so you're fine. You don't need an upgrade. You are only a level two castle, so we actually should upgrade this one. I only have these handful of castles to begin with. I could probably use one down here around Cape. Ah, there's our excuse to get somebody new, and it's still just the plus three guy. All right, well, let's do it. Because we need to start investing in states a little bit, like Congo already has 56 development. Pretty big boost in income. I just don't have the uh, admin power. How big of a difference. It's two and a half ducats a month, just like that. Yemen! <sighs> At war with the Ottomans, Tunis, Khorasan, and Benin, which means bye bye 25 prestige and some diplomatic reputation. I wanted to get rid of Yemen anyway. I got a few provinces out of them. And really, I, uh, well, now I'm going to have a truce. I can't declare war on them myself. <laughs> okay, we're going to hold off here. So, wave goodbye, Yemen. Goodbye, Yemen.
hopefully they'll go to Oman and Hormuz before they come attacking me. Or Lithuania. Lithuania is quite weak. I'll go after the Papal States and make enemies of everybody on the freaking planet. Or Naples. There's not much left standing in their way. With Persia as an ally, that's going to help. My problem is I can't declare war on the Ottomans. Because none of my allies would join on my side. Ah, we're a ways off on admin 24. But somebody's probably going to benefit from this. Ganduga. There you go. Take that one. How about some state maintenance? Oh, there's Kill Law. Uh, we'll save that for now, though. Wait, wait, wait. What else does it come with? Monthly autonomy change. Local development cost. Hello. Kill Law. Kind of nice to play the economy game for a change as opposed to the don't slaughter me game that was going on for about a century there. Still in danger of the Ottomans trying to come after me, that's for sure. And if they do, those Western Europeans might choose to come after me. Hey, local trade power, who's gonna benefit the most? Well, we got some real winners here, like Cape. Mombasa, Mogadishu. So that treasury is down to six ducats a month now that we have a plus three here, advisor. Really? Merchant shipwrecked. We're about to go in debt. You can just move up there for a little bit. Maybe I could make enough money to cover it before you automatically trigger that. It's going to take me some months to cover that now though. Without these done just yet. But look how fast Yemen's getting swallowed up. There's no way they can take a hundred percent of that, can they? Two thousand. Ta da. All right. You are two and a half percentage points, so we're going to go on down that list a little ways. There's that two forty, and no, we didn't cover it. shame because that's gonna cost us <laughs> all right you're probably dropping a bit yes you are let's get some training done here Florida, huh? Let's go take a look at that Florida. So this is a good time to kind of see how everybody's doing. We got Spanish Canada. That's a new one. And Florida. That 
is a Spanish Florida, or was a Spanish Florida. They are a colony of Spain. France hanging on to uh, Louisiana. British Columbia is quite huge. Really? Another massive... Uh, no, Coruscant, you like me. <laughs> New Spain. English Columbia. English Peru. Brazil's about right. Argentine. So... Spain and England have kind of swapped a bit, didn't they? Russia's looking like, well, Russia. I, that was my colony <laughs> before Britain took it from me in war. So a lot of things are looking yeah, fairly typical. The Ottomans are a lot bigger than they normally are. Uh, and France. France is the real loser here. France has uh, really gotten their butt kicked in this game. Mostly by Great Britain. Uh, Bohemia a bit stronger than normal. And that's the Livonian Order. Ooh. Argentine and English Columbia at war with Great Britain. They're fighting for their independence. It is the age of revolutions after all. All right, probably can't pay this off for a while. Yeah, I know. Uh, but those buildings are done. How's the treasury looking? Yeah, not so good. The advisors are definitely the uh, the big cost here. Are we paying that off or not? Shaktai and Yarkand. I'm not even... Yeah, no. Nothing to do with any of them. You don't need... Military axes. Ah, there we go. Yemen. Three provinces left. Two of them that they just claimed might not have even cored yet. Two years until my truce expires, but Ottomans might attack me over it. Because I've been warned. Oh, Oman. I don't have a truce with them. They are allied with Afghanistan. Of course, and they're allied with the Ottomans. Of course, they are. Tunis or against Portugal. It's only Portugal, though. They're not allied with Spain anymore. Except... Portugal's got nothing left up here. Hmm, this is different. <laughs> Look at that. Look who we're on the side of in this war. Which means I can actually afford to attack, like, say, Yemen while this war is ongoing, or Oman. Interesting prospect, that is. Okay. Go for the ones that are going to have the biggest impact on the unity right now. Uh, we still got a little ways to go to pay that off, but not much. Ooh, 
you know, I could get claims going here. I could potentially expand a little bit here, taking Oman and Yemen. While this war is going on, nothing the Ottomans can do because we're on the same side of this war. And they already dislike me. Maybe, just maybe though, this will make them not be hostile towards me. So, ouch. Uh, while I'm at it, let's go ahead and improve relations. Fighting on the same side of the war, maybe they'll uh, forget about the hatred and become friends. I don't know why they would, especially when we're neighbors and they want all my provinces. But they're allies with most of their neighbors. Now, I don't have claims on those anymore. I should. Uh, let's see here. I want diplomacy with Portugal. I want these back. They were mine anyway. I could potentially get my provinces back in this war. Ha 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 ha! I like the sound of that. Um, Yemen, 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 Oman, let it be known. Okay. Should be able to just about pay this thing off, right? Yes, thank you. And that treasury is starting to boom again. Uh, marriage from Persia, okay. And let's get you somewhere. Supply limit's good right there. And again, I should probably have you cover in this end, but Portugal doesn't control any of this. Ouch. And in suffering. Hey, 1% participation. They must have had something big going on up here, huh? Do I want to send an army all the way up there? Uh, you know, I'm not getting any conflict here. Can maybe march these guys along. Let's see, who are we facing? Burgundy and Riga. Ah, uh, there's Burgundy. I'll let Ottomans deal with them. Uh, so maybe I come help you down here. How about we march to Kef for now? Probably gonna take a while to get there. Mysticism. Uh, I guess we're pushing towards mysticism. Recall diplomat. Plus 30 though. That's the highest I've seen that. Still hostile towards us. <laughs> In war together. There's the plus 25. Yeah, minus 91 on wanting provinces. 
And as long as they're hostile, they're not going to want to be a, become an ally. Let's keep that army close to Portugal. So we're gonna pull from here and we're gonna go deal with that little army. I'd rather not pull up new troops as I don't think I have. Oh yeah, I do. Land force limit. Take on 12 more. In that case, let's do this. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. That's enough to take care of them, even with that cannon of theirs. And we'll still bring these guys just in case. Looks like they're going to be there a lot sooner. Yeah, let's just cross over. There they are. Riga has a tiny little army. English Peru, yes, you are fighting Great Britain. Go for it. All right, the larger army's catching them. Quick wipe. So let's send you over there to siege that down. Let's split you in half. Let's siege that down. And how's our participation? It's up to 5%. So there you go. We're making progress. All right, we're up to two knees now. one has to die. I can't even afford a new one right now. Yearly inflation reduction. That's actually hugely beneficial. So let's take that. Uh, we can finally afford an admin tech and production efficiency plus five is well worth it. So we're going to take that. Get you back across the shores. Maybe I just leave you parked right there. At least during the war. Army tradition. Oh, you. ah. Uh, well, this is a good and bad. We'll take the army tradition.
Now, technically, I could declare war on Oman now. Yemen and Afghanistan are not much of a threat to me. But I did just take my troops away. Mascat. Alright, you've made it. Let's get into the action here, huh? You've got about 37,000. I'll add 30,000 to that. That still has us a little bit outnumbered. But the Ottomans have a lot of troops coming this way. Are they helping down here, though? Cool, okay, we just unlocked something. Let's see, Liberty Desire, Artillery Bonus versus Fort. That's a good one. Uh, Force March costs no power. Global Naval Engagement. Ignore Coring Distance. Artillery Damage from Back Row. Meaning they're gonna fight better. That's probably our best one. And then the Napoleon. Uh, Napoleonic Warfare. Because that one's going to help in a fight. That one's going to help speed up a siege. And I haven't been that great in the fights. So. Now you've got 37,000. And I've got 29. So we almost match up. Almost. Oh, not quite. 29 is not enough. <laughs> 30,000. Wow, this, is this a level 8? It's a level 8 fort. And my general just died in not conducting the siege? Really? Really? That was my three-star general. Screw you. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Ooh, I like the ducats, though. Yes, that's really expensive though. Probably shouldn't have done that one. Let's see, hostile siege? Where? Really? <laughs> nice. You're back. What are you? A 3-8. Yeah, that's probably stronger than my 5-13-26, actually. Uh, as these are pretty outdated ships. I need to modernize my fleet. Okay, that's one thing I also need to do. I need to keep moving along here. I'll take that.
Is that part of that siege? Are we, uh... Are we taking massive amounts? Oh, they've only added a few troops here, really. Just enough to get the siege going. Truce with Yemen is over. Tafilate. Oh, okay, that's where we are sieging down. So this is the uh, the war goal. Ottomans have not really done anything in this war other than uh, be sieged down by Burgundy and not seem to fight back at all. So they're locked into this move, and then we'll go crush them. Little victories. It's all gonna help my score. Yeah, 28% now. So if we do win this war, I should be able to get all three of those provinces back. Uh, do I want to send another 40,000 up there, or do I want to go after Yemen? Should have been building a spy network there as well. Go after Yemen and then go after Oman. While this war is ongoing, and there's nothing that the Ottomans would be able to do about it. Okay, with that done, go right back into your little hidey hole. They don't see you there until they're already on land. Now, their troops were up here. I would see them if they come this way, and I would see them if they come this way. Uh, but I really do not want to engage them myself. Uh, Tunis is kind of just hanging back. You got 15,000 cannons. Why don't you come and join us? Seriously. I'm sitting here with only 9,000. Siege is taking a while because of the defense is quite high. 43% chance of an improvement. And it's not really coming. It's already been going on for a, a, a full year now, this siege. Ah, they retreated some of their troops. 36,000 went somewhere else. Just not sure where. It's nice to get a look at them. Making some progress, minus 42% now, but it's slow going. And there's 30,000 troops. They're not going to affect much from there. And this horse war is going to definitely tick the opposite direction as soon as uh, we have their capital siege down. But it's taken a while, it's only at minus 35% at this point. And Tunisia seems more in a hurry to. Uh... Oh, here's another 7,000. Come join us, please. Yeah, there we go. That's 20,000 now. That's gonna make things go much faster. Already minus 14%. Did I see tro troops moving across? Well, there's support at least now, and yes, there they are, 30,000. Some of them are heading out. I 
minus 7. Give him out. Morale 3 Decker becomes available. That's good. Go. Portugal just took my castle over here. That doesn't hurt much though. There's not much they're gonna do with any of that overseas stuff there. There's no reason for me to become involved in that. Seven percent war score now. Four percent unity. That's finally coming along in a very good way. Twenty-one percent, thirty-five percent now. It's getting there. I am way over time for this episode. Uh, as soon as we siege this down and see that war score flip, so at least it's going in our favor, we'll go ahead and call it an episode. Meanwhile, I'm up to almost 2100. Forty-nine. Come on. Oh, not only did we not make it, but we made no progress. Still forty-nine. That minus 18 is about to flip. Oh, I did. I forgot. I claimed that a long time ago. There we go. Okay, plus 6%, just like that. Uh, we do need to hand that over to Tunis. Nice. There we go. And that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. And remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe and tune in next time on my road to the record. Ooh, artillery fired, big boost. Bye for now.